Hey guys, RC here, back with Starter's Order 7, Episode 7. So here are the sales of our two-year-olds, and uh, if you were interested to see what they were bringing in, uh, we've moved a lot of them, we've kept a few, and one of them I probably shouldn't have kept, but I think he's the best of the bunch. Uh, so, of course, just to kind of catch you up, we did move uh, Van Doesberg into the stud stable. Uh, we're breeding him currently with Impassive, uh, who is one of our mares. Uh, Impassive, if we take a look at her stats, she's got very high confidence, decent cruising burst, 75 extra speed. So some decent bars in there. And then what we're trying to get is out of his bars, we're trying to build some confidence, uh, keep that extra speed, and get some of his enthusiasm finish application just to see what happens. Um, and the way I understand it, we do pay the $8,500 fee, but it comes back to us. So that seems like a good gig. Um, taking a look at the two-year-olds, That well, let's take a look at our new three-year-olds, uh, our returning two-year-olds. So Amthal... Uh, $10,000 $10, in winnings, a 74 rating, and there are our bars. We need to get some, uh, some time in training. Again, now, you know, we knew most of these horses in the early racing seasons were not going to be very good. Good confidence, 70 extra speed. I'm still not really impressed with the horse, but... It's not going to race in the Kentucky Derby. It's not going to be a class one horse. Uh, stamina wise, it has gotten up to just short of 25%. Uh, and I believe that gets us into a seven furlong to a mile. So we, we bump up a little bit. Uh, we could also look at doing some shorter races. Uh, it does have, you know, decent extra speed, cruising burst. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just, there's not a lot there, but, you know, we deal with what we've got. Cashmere Brown, 17,500 in earnings. A 94 rating, our highest rated horse that we've got. Stamina does not jump. Now, once they get into training, maybe it goes up a little bit more. I would think we're at uh, 10%. So we're still in that five to six furlong, which actually is an indicator based on the breeding. So that's what we're looking at there. And third half is a seven furlong breeding right up uh, 20, 22%. So that's in the seven furlong to a mile range as well. So we'll see what happens there. Excuse me. Still hoping to get that potential pushed up. Very good confidence. Uh, extra speeds just nosed over the 75 mark. Good enthusiasm, finish, consistency. I still think that's probably our best horse. And, you know, overall, two firsts, two fourths, and a fifth. You know, doesn't bode well, but 89,000 in earnings. So by far our biggest earner. So let's take a look at the new two-year-olds coming in. We do have two Colts and two Phillies. So Dominant, I'm going to save him for last. Putin is one that we bought at the uh, at the stables. Uh, let's see, we bought for, is that 629000 I can't. Uh... Oh, we can actually enter up there. I did not know that. Um wish that was a different color, like white or something that I could actually see. But uh, again, stamina is not there, but we do have some pretty decent bars. Uh, we're right up at 65% uh, for potential. Still not great. Not going to be a triple crown runner, but this is by, you know, one of the better horses that we've had. Uh, I don't see much in the way of battling qualities on many horses. Constitution is good. Confidence is high. It actually has a 30 cruising burst, which most of the horses that we see are, are really, really low. Extra speed is down a little bit, around 67, 66. 
Uh, so that could be better. Enthusiasm towards the lazy side. I'm a little worried about that. No finish application. Uh, but of course that says it's not related to battling. I guess battling is like the final furlong, final two furlongs, and then finish application is like in the final, the final push at the wire. Um, very consistent. So we'll see what he can do. We'll see what Vladimir Putin can do. Uh, Malio, that's a two-year-old filly. Bred at a mile and a furlong, a grade one or group one uh, breeding. So maybe we'll have something there. Potential is already over at 60%. So I like that. I think this horse could maybe max out this year and then maybe next year nose up over 75. Because my understanding is whatever they're at now, you have to, you can get them maxed out. And then when they flip to a three-year-old if you're maxed out it could creep up a little bit more actually pretty good battling qualities very good constitution confidence is there it's got some cruising burst i wish it had more extra speed up in the 75 to 80 range if it did i think this would be a really strong horse but uh, this is one that i think we're going to keep an eye on this year and benru adventure the other two-year-old filly Again, this one's bred at one mile, great, uh, group one. So another horse that may may get in there for some running. Uh, currently at a 40, and we should be able to get it over 50, maybe up to that 60 plus. And it, I don't think it won't get up as high as 70% uh, for potential. Confidence is there, 75 extra speed rating so on the plus side of enthusiasm, consistency, so, you know, again, not, not as good a horse as Malio, but it's there, I think. This is the horse that intrigues me. Oh, and normal for Putin uh, disposition. Malio is normal as well, and Benru Adventure is normal as well. Dominant looks like the best horse of the bunch, but... He's excitable, and I know that's usually a don't mess with it, that it's just going to screw you up. But I think when we look at his bars, I, I just want to I want to put pacifiers on him. I want to give him a go. I just want to play with him because he looks like the best one that we've got. So currently, of course, five to six furlongs. He should see a jump next year in stamina. He's already he's right at just under 50 percent, but we can get him to 70 I think he could push up over 75 to 80 next year. But, uh, Constitution's all right. Confidence is there. We're, we're at a 70 plus, 71, 72 extra speed. Has a little bit of cruising burst, plus side enthusiasm. I like some of the bars there. I think I really like Malio. I think she's the horse to watch this year. But I want to see what Dominant can do. I think he looks pretty solid. The other two, I could, you know, I could go either way. I still think they're probably steps up on Amthal and Cashmere Brown, possibly even on third half. He just doesn't have the constitution. He can't run quite as much. But I like his bars. I still think he's going to do something. I still think he's going to do something. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so what I'm going to do is none of the horses are really ready. Uh, you know, the top three, the three-year-olds are coming out of the far field where they haven't been really training and the two-year-olds haven't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until February 1st, I think, to race them. We'll get a good month of training underneath them because last time I think we jumped right into the racing with the two-year-olds and... Third half did, I mean, one his maiden, the other two struggled. So I think I'm with the two year olds. I'm going to wait until February. Uh, I can go ahead and book them some races now, but I think I'm going to wait a couple of weeks. And I really want to see if the head lad comes back with something on dominant. So let me move ahead a little bit. I just wanted to show you the new crop of horses. I need to set up breeding. I'm going to do all that off camera. So I'll see you guys back here in just a second. 
All right, it is racing time. All right, so I've gone in and I have registered uh, horses. Uh, basically, we're going to be running the end of February and the beginning of February in some maidens. The three-year-olds are going to wait till the end of February. So let's get to it. Um, because these are our first kind of more quality, not high quality, but more quality, and I want to see Dominant run. I, I have put blinders on Dominant just because he's excitable. Hopefully that just keeps him calm. And make sure, I do have breeders sales on February 10th. So we'll be able to get through the first four races before we deal with that. Malio is a joint favorite in that race. Benru Adventure is not a favorite. Dominant is not a favorite. Ooh, I'm a little nervous about this, fellas. None of them are running in the same race. Uh, so we've got two running in Ohio, one running in Florence, which means we're going to pick up a jockey at random from somewhere. So we'll see how that goes. All right, go out to the track. All right, Dominant is a long shot, according to... The betters and the tipsters parading well, lean and ready to go. And that does look like a B, does it not? Maybe that means the blinders. Uh, so let's get out of there and go save, go race. Again, as we get deeper and deeper into the save, I don't think we'll watch the maiden races. We'll just be trying to get them off the, off the mark. All right, so dominant. Breaks slow, goes immediately to the rear. We're the number five horse on the rear on the outside. This was a six furlong race. All right, we creep up towards the rail. We're definitely being outclassed here in the early going. All right, the number four horse drifts out, as do we. Gray Friars Drummer is pulling away. We're making a little bit of a move here. Uh, but it's number four, which is Nunu. Nu, or Nunu. Nu, yeah, Nunu. Nu. And we're going to finish fifth. Looks like we're fading out here at the wire. That's not good. Not good. I almost didn't put the blinders on him for this race just to let him get one race without it. Rear early, last halfway, never competitive. It doesn't say that he ran bad. We had no chance. That's not good. Uh, if he runs, if he continues to run like that, I think we cut bait on him quickly. Quickly. All right. All right, Benru Adventure, joint favorite. Take a look at the tipsters. Nobody has us picked. Moving well and fit. We do have a couple of agitated horses in the field. So hopefully we will be able to do something here as a joint favorite. It is a rainy day, so maybe we don't like rain. Maybe that has something to do with it. Breaks well. Gets out onto the lead and settles into stride. Starts to drift over. The number three horse, Samirian, uh, looks like he held his head there a little bit. All right. Benru Adventure moves to the outside, just trying to stay in some breathing space. Settles towards the rear. Coming up on the two furlong pole. We've got plenty of room to make a run if we want to, or if we have the capability. We're getting muscled out there by Master Leon. The three horses in the front, Cape Ameris, Marju Daw. Uh, oh, I think we're, no, this is in Ohio. Yeah, we finished fourth. That wasn't good. That was not good. Won a little bit of money, $491. Some late headway. Lost place and rear halfway. 
Lost place. That's a first. I haven't seen that. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is our apprentice jockey. The trip appeared just about to suit. Okay. Um, and Malio joint favorite. Oh, if she doesn't win, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Tipsters were picked by one. Slightly agitated. Okay, don't like that. We've got one horse going lazy and we're agitated. Oh, that's, that's not good. Now, this is at a different course, so this is not raining today. We're second from the outside. Good, clean break. We get out with the lead pack. All right, he's holding her in. That I think that might be a good sign. If, if, if she finds her pace and he's holding her back, I think that's a good sign. All right, we're in a good position here. Riding second, third, drifting a little bit here. All right, now I don't like this position. Two furlong pull. Do we have anything to show? All right, looks like Viva Col Colonia. All right, we are making a run up into fourth. I don't think we're going to have enough to catch any of those leaders. Can we hold off Minigun for fourth position? It's Viva Colonia, and we take fourth position. I'm disappointed. Got to say, settled early. That's good. Ran in snatches and weakened. All right, this was a six furlong, so maybe we go to a five furlong for her. I'm not sure this horse is genuine. Got the distance well. I mean, it's a maiden race. There is no lesser competition. So he doesn't like her. He doesn't like her at all. Um, oh. I forgot to look. Espinoza. All right, so Espinoza is our, is our jockey. So I was trying to see if this was the, the higher jockey. I'm not sure. Dominant, who did you get? Tunon. And Tunon. So our apprentice ran. Why would we send our apprentice to ride two horses, uh, unless the, unless the AI is saying Malio is our best horse. I have no idea what SLR stands for. Oh, I think I asked that question. Let me see if anybody answered it. Oh, well, my post is gone, but yeah, I don't know what SLR stands for. That is not a good result in our maidens. All right, Putin's going today. Maybe he can break the uh, the streak here. Uh, he is not the favorite. Second, the tipsters all like Bella Medici. I don't like betting on uh, maiden races. Parading well, lean and ready to go. All right. Another dreary day. We're third from the rail, and we break out late. Looks like he found, found his stride pretty quickly and moves up into the front. He's with the front runners, four abreast into the turn. Three furlongs to go. We move out into the lead. Two furlongs to go. We're still there, a head back and fighting. There's a move. We're out by half a length. At the furlong pole, it is Bella Medici is challenging. Coming up on the outside is Paiute Princess, and we are falling off the pace. Oh, that is not good. So we just didn't have the fortitude to see that one through.
All right, well, I mean, a third, that's our highest finish in the maidens. That gets us over $1,000. Prominent early, lead again, no extra. Didn't have any extra speed, I guess. Ridden in the pack, suited. I believe the trip suited perfectly, which meant he just didn't have anything going for him, I suppose. Yeah, he, he's the one that's a little short on his extra speed. Enthusiasm's a downer for him. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments. I was just kind of thinking of something some of you guys had said. Uh, because he has a low ju... I mean, he's got a high constitution, but his juvenile, which is what you're looking at as a two-year-old, I believe is relatively low so i've been told that basically look at their fitness and condition and basically let that build back up so i mean according to those numbers if he can rebound in two to three weeks we should be able to run him with no problem and we could be looking at eight to ten races in in his two-year-old season let me know if you guys interpret that the same way because i don't know and yeah, I got a grandbaby in the house, guys. Yeah, you get the ambiance. All right, I am going to go and let's call it an episode there. It's a little early, but only by a few minutes. We'll come back. I want to go in and I want to look at these guys. Uh, I want to see when and if I want to set up their next maiden race. And then we'll come back next episode i want to do the uh the auctions that are coming up and then we'll be back for the end of february with uh our three three-year-olds and see how we get off to our three-year-old season hit the like button subscribe and of course you know what that means we will see you next time take care bye